Back to way Bravo or the helicopter pads cleared for the option and remain, again, remain west of runway 15. Remain west at all times, uh, cleared for the option to the north bank. One zero hotel, thanks. That's the zero zero hotel. Use caution for a helicopter off the right hand side, runway 15, cleared for takeoff. Verify your eastbound. 15, cleared for takeoff. We are eastbound and uh, we'll watch out for the helicopter for zero zero hotel. Thank you. All right, clear for takeoff. We've got the strobes on. Everything's November good to go. Three, six, nine, we'll roll. Back from, uh, the helicopter's been like everybody's way. Go to departure. Yeah. Six, nine, Quebec. Do you usually tell them traffic in sight? Or yeah. Simon, three, you can say traffic in sight or we'll, we'll watch out for the helicopter. All right, right. so we'll put our ailerons into the wind here. Yeah. And how quickly do you have to, I don't want the plane flipping sideways. Yeah, you're good. I'll, I'll help you out with it. Okay, so three double Charlie, runway one five, clear two land traffic, departing prior to your right hand Right. All right. Heels on the ground, on the toes on the pedals. All right. All right, full power. Remember to add one Bravo, a little right rudder, so right see how that wind's coming from the left will hold crosswind correction in, like so. Yeah, it's kind of pushing us. Yes, sir. All right, speed's coming up 40, 50, slowly roll it out. There's rotation, so we'll pull back. Rotate. There we go. And you see how we're just going to turn our ailerons slightly into the wind to keep that yes, nose sir. tracking on the center line, just like that. And I'll let you take it. There you go. Give a little bit of trim up. Good. You can pitch back for about 74 knots. Yes, sir. Very, 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 very good. I like it. We get to about uh, a thousand feet here. Make a left hand turn to east. Yes, sir. Courtney, look around. You see? I know, don't worry. All right, All right so if you, you've done some steam turns before, right? Yes, sir. All right, so let's, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get us a steam turn in from the east. We'll do left and right. Okay. Um, what a steam turn is basically is it's about a 45 degree bank to the left and to the right. Um, it's a normal maneuver. The bank is kind of in, intense, but it's not too intense. So if it you start to feel queasy in the right, let us know. We'll just you'll, be, you'll be fine, we'll I promise. Close. It's not cool. as bad as it seems. All right, 40, so we'll... 45 will be right there on yep. this aircraft? Yep. All right, so right, left. Whichever one you rather, left or right? We're right. We'll go right first, all right. 360 degrees. There you go. Make sure you add that right rudder in there and get the thing coordinated. Perfect, right there. Make sure you hold that 2,500. Yeah. Federal traffic and... The easiest way to do this... So look outside, find a spot on that cowling that keeps this nose level, right? Alright, increase it just a little bit more. Just want to see. So we're halfway in between this line and this one. Okay. A little right rudder. See how you start to descend a little bit? Yeah. Add a little, little back. back pressure. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I feel it. Now we're getting there. All right, roll out on east. So start that left turn. Add a little left rudder in there. There you go. On these, you kind of have to lead it just a little bit by like 10 degrees, 10 okay. to 15 degrees. Okay. All right, go ahead. Roll it into the left. And go to that same spot on that bank angle, okay? You all right back there? Yep. All right. Oh, yeah, we're descending. We've got there your back yeah. pressure. Yep. Hold on, Courtney. <laughs> Sorry. That looks good. Keep that bank in there. Good, good. Little back pressure. There we go. Ah, we're losing that bank. There you yeah. go, get that bank. It's hard switching left and right uh -huh. between the displays. And keep and that uh, left rudder, there we go. I'm trying to now keep my altitude. Pressure. Now, what you, the easiest way to do this is to look outside okay. as well. So you can tell rather quickly if you're, um, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I keep switching my eyes yeah. here, trying yeah. to make sure yeah. I'm Yeah, so the more easiest more way to do a VFR more steam more turn more is to look at your more heading, more altitude, more and then outside, and then attitude to make sure you have the right bank in there, right? Because, like, if you pick a spot on the horizon, I mean, on the cowling, that to put on the horizon, it will give you a um, a very good uh, way of keeping it level. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Um, let's see here, I want to zoom out real quick. Now we're good. 
All right, so uh, so like, watch, I'll show you one real quick. So we've got it level at 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll in. I'm going to add my right rudder as I roll in. And as I roll in, I'm going to slowly increase my back pressure, right? Keep it. And I was a little late on that, but like that. Now, I know that if I put this right side of this rivet line on the horizon, like so, it should keep it pretty level. Oh, I see Just by saying. looking outside, I don't even have to... So I'm a little low, so I'll bring that nose up a little bit. There we go. A little oh. uncoordinated. Increase that. See how that works? And so I'm looking mainly outside at this rivet line on the horizon, and I'm not even having to focus really on that. Now I'm a little low, so I keep... So what I would do is I would increase a little bit of that, but we're going to roll out here. See how that works? It makes it easier because it keeps you from having to look too, you don't have to keep yeah. watching your VSI or anything like that. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And what I like to do is, is when I roll into a steep turn, I'll take this trim wheel and trim it one trim down. To get my, so I won't have to struggle to hold that back pressure in and relieve a little bit of that pressure. Makes it a little bit easier for it. But your steep turns were, uh, were very good, actually, to be honest with you. Thank you. Um, too far away from the airports where it takes you forever to do a traffic pattern, right? Um, but what you want to do is have the airport about uh, halfway up your wing strut. Does that make sense? And I'm okay. just sending a little bit, so I'm bringing that nose back up a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call downwind. Rockwell Traffic Stop 1400 Hotel is downwind And it's going to be a little bit quiet. County traffic, Ooh, six, two, three, it's going to be a little bit quiet whenever I transmit, just because it's it's the way that it's set up. Uh, okay. So I've got 1,500 feet. See how it's about halfway up that wing strut right there? Yes, sir. This is what you will kind of want, right? So you're stabilized 1,500. We've got a power set at 2,000. Once we get a beam, the end of the runway, which is right off the side right there, I'm going to bring my power back to about 1,500 RPM, okay? okay. And when I do that, I'm going to put in 10 degrees of flaps. Okay. Just like so. And what I'm going to do is, it see how it's going to kind of balloon a little bit, so I want to hold it there until it gets past the balloon, and we got a little bit of a crossroad, so I'm going to grab a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a steady, slight descent. Not okay. too high, but a slight descent, so about 500 foot a minute, okay? When I lose about, I think it's about 1,200 feet, I'm going to turn left. So we're about 45 to... Final. So I'm going to start my base turn, and I'm not going to get too crazy with it, I'm just going to smoothly turn left here like so, right? right. And what, what stabilize, what I mean by stabilize is you want to make very little adjustments. You want to just constantly keep your flow going and your turn. So I'm on base, so I'm going to put in 20 degrees of flaps, and I'll call. Not full yet until we're on final, yeah. correct? Okay. So now I'm coming to final, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn final, I'm going to put in 30 degrees of flaps. Make sense? Correct. See how easy this is? See how I'm not going too crazy with my turns? And so I'm a little bit low, so I'm going to increase my power. Okay. You don't want to get too slow, but you're looking for about 60 knots on final, 65 knots on final, right? So I'm going to keep my downward uh, position towards the runway. Bring my power back a little bit. Yeah, we do have a crossroad, I see. Alright, so I'm a little faster, bring my power out back a little bit, but I've never adjusted my pitch, right? So my pitch staying the same, and I'm just adjusting my power for that airspeed. Okay? Yeah, I see those power lines. And so you want to just keep your nose, you want to pick a point with your eyes on the runway, so I'm looking at those numbers that are kind of going away, and I'm just keeping my, nose, my eyes pointed straight at that runway. And this airplane's going to follow where you're looking. Okay, so I'm a little fast, so I could have pulled my power back a little bit. All right, so at this point, I don't like my landing. I'm going to go around. So I'm going to go full power. Okay, and I'm going to climb away. And I'm not going to touch anything at first. So I'm full power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go flaps immediately to 10 degrees. Okay? And what I'm going to do is, or sorry, 20. I went too far. So 20. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to 10 once your airspeed builds up. But you're always continually climbing. And then they make a call. Now that we've got airspeed and we've got altitude, I'm going to go flaps up. Okay. Continuing my climb coming. Until that comes all the way up. Which is 
should be all the way up. All right, and they are all the way up. So now I'm all my cross my upwind, so I'm gonna turn crosswinds for basically just a 90 degree turn perpendicular to the runway. And I'll make a call. Okay, just like that. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll out. You should be about 90 degrees to that runway. There we go. And you're gonna keep your climb coming up back up until you get to 1500 feet, okay? Oh, I hate that thing. Now, you don't want to get too far from the runway, so we'll start our left-hand turn to downwind. And anytime you get to a different position on the airport, you call it. Right? So, like, now above downwind. So, I'm still climbing up to 1,500 feet. See how I'm about half a wing strut up? Yeah. Getting up to 1,500 feet. Bringing my power back to 2,000 RPM. Now, now this airport looks uncontrolled, correct? It is uncontrolled, Okay, yeah. so you're on the traffic uh, comm. Correct. You are... Other planes are responsible not landing or taking off when you are trying to announce that you're landing or taking off as well. Correct. Now when you broadcast, I can't hear you at all. That's normal, you said? Uh, you can't hear me at all? No, oh, that's you what I was trying to You should be able to kind of, but if you can't, that's okay. Well, it's barely. I mean, it's... it's okay. I have to read your lips. Okay. All right, so we're a beam downwind, so what we'll do is power to 15. I'll let you pull the power, power to 15. 15. And we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. All right, and so what's going to happen, watch this nose. It'll See how balloon. it starts to balloon? So you just kind of hold it, and you're doing about 500 foot per minute descent. That's good. That's what you want. You may have to add a little swipe down. There we go. Now, you don't want to go nose over, and you don't want to, like, fight with it. So you just kind of leave it like it is. Okay. Looks good. And depending on where the wind's coming from, which the wind's coming out of the east, we might have to crab a little bit to the right. Okay. There we go. All right, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn a left uh, base. So give me a left-hand turn, easy. Keep the descent coming. You don't want to pull the nose up because if you do that, you'll get slow. Don't lose your airspeed. Yeah, and we'll bring this in just a little bit. Bravo traffic, Sky 1400 Hotel Space, runway 17. All right, so we're just a little bit low, so we'll bring our nose up just slightly and increase our power, power a little bit. There we go, yeah. Power for uh, altitude, pitch for uh, yep. uh, speed. Yep. All right, so bringing those up just a little bit more. We're a little low. Increase that power. Make it up about 1,900 feet. All right, we'll level off here. We don't want to go Oh, yes, crazy. we're not going on there final we go. yet. All right, we'll go 20 degrees of flaps. We'll turn left to final. There we go. All right, now put in 30 degrees of flaps. Cool. Yep. Uh, there we go. Now pitch that nose down just slightly. Bring that power back to about 1,500 foot, uh, 1,500 feet. There we go. All right, so now you pick you pick an, uh, your spot on the runway. Yes, sir. And you just fly this airplane straight at it. Rockwell traffic, Skyhawk 1400 Hotel is final runway 17. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're looking a little bit fast, so bring that power back just a little bit more. Keep that pitch downward a little bit. See, this is a nice descent. You see this? Yes. All right, so what we're going to do is we don't like it. Let's say something went wrong, full power, all the way in. Then when you add full power with full flaps, it's going to want to jump up, so you yeah. kind of keep it like that. And you're going to go immediately flaps to 20. So have you done a, uh, you've done a power off stall before, right? Uh, uh, I think it was power on. I can't remember. Oh, power, power okay. off. Yeah, power off. Correct. The same recovery as the power off. A go around is the same thing as the power off. Okay. Okay. All right, now go plus 10. That looks like we're at 10 right now. There we go. Good. Keep that climb coming up just a little bit more. We want to get we want to get away from the ground, right? Yes, sir. There we go. Good. All right, we've got plenty of airspeed. We've got altitude. Bring those flaps up. See, what happens is if you were to go full power and flaps all the way up at one time, your airplane yeah. would sink. All right, so There's bring that nose lift. up just a little bit. Keep that climb coming. We want to climb up to, uh, we're trying to go 1,500 feet, right? Now give me a left-hand turn to uh, about an east heading, about a zero seven zero, really. That should be a crosswind. All right. So Perfect. Let's this keep is good. it going until we're. Yep. All right. You can actually go ahead and start a left-hand turn here to. Uh, Parallel that runway. 
Okay, keep that climb to 15. When you get to 15, bring the power back to 2,000. This looks good. There's 1,500 feet, power to 20, and uh, level off right there. Nose on the horizon. It's good, perfect. You got the runway about halfway up your wing yes, strut. Sir. That's what we like to see. Now, if you look here, if you yeah, see our, our tr ground track, we're sliding. Yes, see how it's going right. So what you want to do is just add oh, okay. right aileron Not into rudder. the wind, yeah, and it'll fix your track. It's called crabbing into the wind. Okay, okay, I thought when we crab, we use our rudder only. I, my yep. bad. That's okay. So about right there should do it just fine. Okay. Now you're beam the uh, the end of the runway, so we'll pull power to 15 and flaps to 10. A little forward pressure. This okay. Uh, and we don't want to jump down too fast. So we'll just kind of keep it about right there, really. <coughs> I guess to about 1,300 feet. There we go. We're at 1,300. Give me a left-hand turn to base and keep that nose. In the, so when you turn, you don't want to keep bring that nose up because what will happen is it gets slow, right? Yep. You don't want to So bring stall. that power in just a little bit. Keep it at about 15. Good, 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 good. Rockwell traffic, Skog 1400 Hotel is base, runway 17. All right, this looks good. Go ahead and put in 20 degrees of flaps. Uh, uh, so you gotta like slide it over like you would. Yeah, you gotta pull it over and drop it. There you go. This looks good. So keep that descent coming. You don't want to level off. Okay. There we go. Keep the descent because if you don't level, if you don't keep that descent coming, watch what'll happen. I go ahead, turn final and put in full flaps. There you go. See how you're putting the nose down now? But if you would have left it, see how we look high. Yeah, exactly. If you don't keep your descent coming on all legs like you normally do, you'll end up high and you'll have to adjust for it. But that's okay. We're not too bad here. So bring that nose up just a little bit. Yeah. And increase that power just slightly. Now lower that nose. What I usually do is put the, the top of this at where I'm aiming at. So about a fist on the dash, top of the fist where I want it at those numbers, and that should give you good descent. So we're getting a little extra speed, so pull yeah. that power back. Good, 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 good. Just like that. See how we're, our nose is to yeah. the left, but we're tracking straight? That's called crabbing. When we land, we have to do into the wind wheel first, correct? Yep. All right, uh, go around. Let's see what you got. All the way in. Good. Up to 20. Very, very good. Very good recovery. 80 knots, flaps up. I like it. Climb to 900. So does it, you see how the traffic pattern works? Yes, sir. So you're, you know, you want to be stabilized. You don't want to make a bunch of different changes. You don't want to be changing your altitude, changing your airspeed, changing all this stuff like that. You want to keep it set. Okay. Alright, give me a left hand turn to east and we'll head out to the east and um, do some maneuvers. Flapston. You want to hold your altitude, that's the only thing. Is you want to hold okay. 2500. Rockwell traffic, Scott, 1400 hotels, three miles to the northeast, maneuvering 2500. Okay. Alright, so now you're going to go full flaps, since you're well below the wide arc, well below 85 as well. Alright, so this is where you pitch for your, uh, pitch for your altitude and uh, power for airspeed, right? Yep, right. there you go, start adding that power in. Good. And make sure we hold that heading too. Oh yes, sir. There we go. We're right above the stall line. Yep. <laughs> That's what you want in slow flight. So you're starting to increase your speed a little bit. So bring that power back just slightly. Maybe 2100. There you go. Perfect. Right there. Hold that. And give me a right hand turn back to that. Actually, give me a right hand turn to north. 
Now you have a lot of power with a little bit of airspeed, so you're yeah. going to need a lot of right rudder, right? Okay, yeah, I was wondering why it was hard. There we go, yeah, there you go. There yeah, we this go. looks good. Very good slow They're going slow. Yep. Go around corner, you see it? <laughs> oh, last flight, the wind, or two flights ago, two lessons ago, the wind was so strong we were almost flying backwards. Yep, actually give me a right hand turn to uh, the setting right here. Pull that Pull power, power just yeah. slightly. amazing how slow you can get these airplanes and they'll still oh, fly, yeah. right? Barely even 50 miles an hour, or barely even 60 miles an hour about. Yep. Alright, hold this heading. Get that. We should be almost not moving. Yeah. In ground track. <laughs> Is that Courtney? <laughs> Imagine trying to get to Lubbock like this. Yeah. Now you got a ground speed of 40 knots across the ground. a little bit so it's, we're moving a little bit more than we would if it was full. Cool. Alright, now go ahead and recover from this situation. Go ahead, immediate flaps to 20. There you go. I want to make sure you get that in quick. But it's immediate, it's not yeah. after we build 20, 20 knots is so powerful, then 20 degrees, and then 10 degrees, and then up. That's what you did to do it. There we go, good. You just don't want to bring them all up at one time. Okay. That looks good.